What's up everyone, it's Jamie here again from psworld.co.uk This is part 2 of everybody's going to the rapture Really hope you enjoyed part 1 I'm going to be quiet in this one as I'm pretty ill I really hope you enjoyed it Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all? We're still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here? Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got... 
to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines. It's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. Said there was a problem with Arvi. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they've blocked the roads. Oh, well, Barbara says so. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy!
grief, Wendy. You catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. the end of part two, part three will be coming pretty soon, so keep an eye out and don't forget to like, like and subscribe.